Okay. Let's go. Okay, we're on. Don't start the engine. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to an incredibly sunny Scotland. I've had my luck up in the Highlands before with sunny weather, but nothing quite like this. And today is very special because we are filming drive style for Michelin. And it's a very James Bond inspired, Aston Martin themed indulgence in automotive purity. Today is significant because I'm going to be driving the boss's car. And what I mean by that is Andy Palmer, the CEO of Aston Martin, has lent me his GT8, his Aston Martin GT8 to drive around during this production. And Aston Martin Heritage or Aston Martin Works have also lent us their DB6. So it's going to be incredibly iconic shoot. Ultimately, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of what it's like on a big budget, awesome film shoot. Yes. is it really cool but the crossing over here takes eight minutes if it wasn't for the ferry you'd have to drive all the way around the lock and it takes about an hour and a half so no brainer with regards to the ferry and to give you an idea of the size of our team there's 12 cars on here there's some more behind here half of those cars are ours and we are making a production for YouTube it's quite incredible being involved in such a professional film shoot they are huge productions and ours by and large is quite a small production but to have a whole team here like this for our content it's a very special experience all right let's go meet our aston martins What a location to offload these. This is unbelievable. So, not only is this car special because it's a rare GT8, but it's more significant and special because this is the CEO of Aston Martin's car, hence GT08 Boss. So Andy Palmer has been very kind to lend us this car, and I've got a feeling we might be driving it in one of the most beautiful and appropriate locations in the world. Look at this backdrop. I mean, this is dream world stuff, to be able to have a car of this caliber dropped off in a location of this caliber. <laughs> it's a good job I just filmed the seals because I think we just scared them off. This is what I was talking about in terms of the size of our crew. For a YouTube production, it's incredible. It's amazing where this platform's heading, actually. Wow. I can't wait to show you inside this. This is basically my car for the next two days. So I'm pinching myself. This is ridiculous. And then, as is the way with drive style, we have a modern car and a classic car. And this is our classic. And I'm not sure if you followed my journey down to Le Mans recently, but I spent a day in this exact DB6. Arguably the most important. 
important part of the shoot. Sound guys doing sound check. We've rigged up a microphone here, right between the exhausts. Let me tell you something. If this audio isn't doing the sound of this car justice, it is one of the loudest stock cars to ever roll out of a factory. It's crackers. I don't know how they managed to sign off on it, but it sounds incredible. How this thing is gonna cope. I mean, it's right there, really. Anyway, from experience, sound guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> Look at the rig that we have in the boot here. This is the difference between a proper shoot and a YouTube shoot. Every little detail is accounted for. Uh, I've seen some of the uh, previews of the other productions that we filmed. The quality's out. Outstanding. Can't wait to share all of them with you soon. So when you get on it, you'll notice back there, it builds up like a And you find yourself almost short shifting because the gears are so long for that type of road. The exhaust opens at 3,000. The exhaust opens at 3,000, yeah. I mean, this thing has so much theatre. So actually, two good friends of mine own GT8s, which is remarkable considering they only made 150 of them. Yeah, it's right? him and me. <laughs> <laughs> They all say a similar thing. It's not the fastest car in the world, it's not the most dynamic, but it's so engaging and so packed full of theatre that when you're on incredible roads like this, you just have a constant smile on your face. Yeah. It's very cool. And you can enjoy the landscape yeah. and the car exactly in one minute. But you've heard it. It sounds ridiculous. I love the word ridiculous. You like that one? Yeah. Yeah. It's just the sound of the word, even if you don't know what it means. Yeah, it rolls off the tongue. You know, do you know what, what it, it means if you don't know what it means? Yeah, yeah you, you know what context. it means if you don't know what it means. Yeah. Just yeah. by hearing it. I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah. That exhaust is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. it sounds you, good. Do you understand? I totally get it. <laughs> <laughs>
And welcome to our next location. No, it's not a riverbed, but I had to share this incredible view with you. Of all of the places that I have filmed for Michelin, Scotland is aesthetically nailing it. But the significance of this location is not necessarily how incredibly beautiful it is, it's its undertones and connections to James Bond. While this is not a James Bond themed shoot, you can't come to the Scottish Highlands in a set of Aston Martins and it not play on you a bit. So we've come to quite a special location. Let me show you what's what. So here we are. I mean, that is a seriously iconic picture, isn't it? I know we're surrounded by film crew and a very enthusiastic cameraman right there. <laughs> but there's nothing quite like a classic Aston on a single track Scottish road. Let me tell you a little bit about this road. I'm sure you're beginning to guess where we might be. Okay, so I've got us a bit of elevation just to show you what's what. Yes, this is the famous Skyfall Road in Scotland. You know that scene where James Bond ends up taking his car out of London and then driving all the way up to Scotland and then they pull over and admire the incredible Scottish view? This is that road. I think their shot was just at the top there so you can see all the way down through this valley. I'm not kidding you. We're actually not allowed to even take a picture in exactly the same spot where the James Bond scene was taken. Yeah, that's all copyrighted and you don't want to get involved in any of that. <laughs> so to keep the peace, we've uh, dropped down the hill somewhat and we're going in the opposite direction. So after all, our production isn't necessarily James Bond themed, but there's definitely a subtle undertone of it that I think you can't escape. So we had to come here and just check out the incredible view. But yeah, it's something I wanted to share with you because it's not every day you find yourself on an iconic movie scene. Speaking of which, there's our crew down there. Currently, Helge and Mateus are doing their take with the DB6. And then I'm up in the next hour. Since I left, just stood the test of time like a leader. It got too far, I will always linger. You went away to feel the wind get a better. The work that I was on the verge of getting back. thing now in this day and age most things are going sort of turbocharged and automatic this is the last of the naturally aspirated and manual in, in Which, German handgerissen 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 yeah, you rise with your hand handgerissen careful where you do that <laughs> handgerissen handgerissen, handgerissen. Yeah, anyway, this is hand gerissen, a naturally aspirated V8, 4.7 litre, 440 horsepower, 318 pounds feet of torque. Ergonomically, if you're wondering why that flap there is open, is because when it's closed, it's a little bit high for your elbow. So yeah. when you're shifting, so he has to lift up kind of his elbow and he can like shift a floor. Then. Yeah, but when you open it, I've got freedom for my elbow and I can sort of yeah. slam it back. This should a bit be quicker. Even better for you. Not you know? so much. That's not <laughs> ideal for the funny bone. Anyway, funny bone the funny the, bone. Yeah, it's the musician bone. Is it? It's, you, yeah. it's called the musician bone. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Okay, so it's called the funny bone in the UK because when you bang it. It feels a bit funny, it makes your arm fizz a bit. It's yeah. not funny at all, it hurts like hell, and your, your, your arm just feels odd. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, we are still technically on set. We've just uh, taken a moment to hijack the GT8 before we have to go, just to bring you guys a brief insight to what it's like on the set of drive style for Michelin with these cool cars. Yeah. 